Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between the boss, Dana White, and Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of knees because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gaslam, was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, though. Good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender of the sun. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Fly. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on. Oh. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. All right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Adesanya. Kick to the body by Dana White. Taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Oh, big elbow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Ready to win. Great job. Back to the feet. 
great punch. Right at the elbow. Body keep playing. Just missed with the elbow there. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Right hook to the head block. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Out of range with that one. Real nice body kick land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. A really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found the oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ball oh, straight right. Oh! Whoa! Gets up again here, but hurt. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Take your time, take your time, relax, breathe. And he connects there, DC. Great job. Oh. He's out! Holy smokes! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, 
punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, hard to perform Ladies much better than he did tonight. A huge five, knockout five, under the lights. Three minutes, They'll be talking about that one for some time. Declaring the winner by knockout, David Wild. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Oh, couple left me out to dry, had to crucify.